You want to say hi to everybody? broken handle on the fence back there. So I unhooked one of them and it was the wrong one. I just got the crap shocked out of myself. So, and I don't know which one of these it is, so we're going to unplug them both because um, one chalking experience a day is too many for sure I think it's this one but to be safe definitely don't want that to happen again he's coming with two more hay rolls and sorry I left my Thing in the, in the truck to help cover the wind. But the thorn tree, that looked lovely. I cut the strings and net wrap off. Got it fixed. Now to plug everything back in. Five. Yeah, what's up? Of course, they're all crowding the gate. And he's coming with that roll. They do pretty good. They did get out on him the other day, he said. But, and luckily, he had a, a bag of feed or a half a bag of feed that he was able to to get them in with a, a bucket so we'll see how it works out today because I don't have any with me hopefully nobody gets out <laughs> off of it it rained a little bit overnight it's a little muddy we don't have a four-wheel drive tractor
definitely hot. It was this morning too when I got a hold of it. <laughs> Calf was playing with his mama, but it doesn't look like it's doing it now. Yeah, yeah. there he is. <laughs> Come on, Ma, I want to play. Come on, I want to play, Ma. Come on, play with me. Ooh, get up. I can't get your udder. One of the yellow tags. It's either 23, 24, 25. Yeah. <laughs> the buck they're pushing on her. I can't see for the, the big one. Pull up a little bit. All the calves are up on this end. <laughs> Darn kids. <laughs> She's not at all bothered by it. She's laying there chewing on her cud. Got some, some nosy rosies coming up. Hi, babies. Two's gotten her face muddy again. <laughs> Several of them. Yeah, under two's is pretty muddy too. Did y'all have a mud fight? Maddie's <laughs> cave is freaking monster. Yeah. So we talked about 90 in the last video and how she always has one of the best calves. This is her and her calf, little heifer. The little heifer will be staying with us on the farm. She's not going to be sold. Um, any any of 90s heifers will be kept just because she has such great calves. We can't we can't sell her heifers. See, she's such a good mama too. And she is a good mama. Yeah. That's the kind of traits that we want to want to keep in the herd. Oh yeah. Yeah. There's 20 in all her round glory. I don't have no feed. You'll have to come in to get it. You'll have to come in to get it. Lurkies all stand by the same mold. Yeah. Cookie cutter calves. Mamas are all kinds of messed up here hauling for their babies. <laughs> her own pile of feed since she's too bougie to come in and eat with everybody else. She has a comfort. Yeah, she's always been one of the flighty ones. And six. Well, our no tag, six. The original six. She's definitely one of the flighty ones too. 
<laughs> she says it's my fault. <laughs> you done had your snack. Like, back off. Oh, here comes 68, Fergie's mom. <laughs> Just like Fergie, she will muscle her way She's in. She is a big girl. Hey, what else we got in there? Ah, uh, one. <laughs> Get over how big one is compared to 68. Yeah. This one's one. This one's 68. No, uh, her daddy was that little that little dumpy uh, red, red bull, bull that, that we had. To, uh -huh. come with the herd. We may be having a calf before too long. Within a couple weeks, anyway. We need to watch the weather. Yeah. In case we need to put her up. She may. No, we may have to put her in the barn to calve, but I mean, it'd be like, who was it? Uh, 80, what, 80, 92 all over again. She'll, she'll hold on to that calf until we let her out of the barn and have it the next night. But she got a little signs of, uh, of calving, so I don't want to get too graphic, but a little discharge hanging out. So I'd say within the next two weeks, usually from the times we see that, we may have another calf. That's good. We're excited to see to see Gump's calf. What kind of calf he's going to bring? But the only thing is, is, we won't be able to keep it if it's a heifer. But we're excited, aren't we? Depends on if we get another bull in the meantime. Yeah, well, I mean, that's always a possibility. And I mean, we could theoretically keep any bull that we've got out here in the field that's still bull calf yeah, well, he could, to breed to he gumps. Could breed anything that gumps except for, except for a sibling or. Yeah. Or... Feeding time. I'll go get you some. Now he's going to feed the, the geese. Come on, Eddie. Come on. Got him some feed. He needs the guineas to come up too. These ones are trying to figure out how to get across the fence. Putting some, so another high fat protein tub out. They really like this a lot. Well, not as much as they have been. Not as much as they have been. I didn't mean to scare you. Go ahead. Oh, you're gonna attack it right at the beginning, huh? Crazy.
much. <laughs> Don't care. We got some hay from across the road, from the farm across the road. So we're gonna feed some of that. We just fed hay the other day, but they've already eaten two rolls of it. And we're supposed to get some severe weather this afternoon. Lots of rain, severe thunderstorms. So, as I mentioned before, we don't have a four-wheel drive tractor. So, we figured it would be easier to go ahead and just put an extra rolls out now. As opposed to have to try to fight the mud. So, that's, that's what we're doing. Oh, and when, when he gets hay from across the road, he can't see to pull out with the tractor. So that's why I was down there on the four-wheeler to uh, give him the thumbs up that it was safe to come out of the driveway. It's just hard to see. thing on reserve because <laughs> you know that would be my luck that I would uh, forget to tell him that we need gas in it and then I would be on the far side of the field and that's where I would run out but that's my luck I hope y'all have better luck than that typically filling up the water What's he doing over there, huh? Hi, baby. What you doing? Can she swallow my phone? <laughs> okay. We will not let her get a hold of it. He got me new uh, draw shots.
you know. We need gas in the four-wheeler. <laughs> I remembered to tell him, y'all. Storm come through last night. Didn't didn't really storm bad. There's lots of lightning. Uh, lots of thunder, but we didn't get a lot of wind or rain, which I guess the wind part's good. They're going to need some water. We'll get that when we get back. Get them there. Extra shot of protein this morning. We'll just give them a uh, some worms treats. We don't get a whole lot of extra, but they do get to free range, so they scratch around to get worms and whatnot. He was supposed to go out and pick up some chicken feed yesterday, but he forgot to grab it while he was there. The storm brought cooler temperatures again. It's uh, 34 degrees this morning. I left my hoodie in the truck, so it's a little chilly. Loaded and ready to go. Okay, he'll be 48. They got fed this morning. We got about an inch of rain last night. According to the, the radio and the rain gauge at the house. Y'all smart creatures, aren't you? Uh-huh. You fed them once here, and they think that now they're going to get one. Get fed there. When he is just doing that for 20. Come on, girl. Yummies. So we got enough rain that uh, that the pond is actually uh, draining out into the pile. So that's good. Get some of that goose. filth off the top of it the scum looks like it's pretty well gone too so that's good they may drink out of this a little bit more often now than going going through their uh the <clears throat> the trough that we fill up up there they really are pasture puppies <laughs> they follow him like a little puppy Got them fed this morning. I 72. Let me get out your way. Uh-huh. 
honey. Mm-hmm. Come on, cows. Yeah. I can get the crate fader if you want to go and see her go. Pony got her extra special pile. And 23 decided she's going to share with her. He's putting creep in. Good morning. Okay, I'll feed the geese. Or you feed the geese. The geese are coming. Yeah, I did it. I do it every day. 